Not to spook anybody out, but y'all watch movies. Y'all seen movies of paranormal activity. I'm pretty sure everybody has gotten a taste of paranormal activity. I don't I don't necessarily believe in ghosts. I wouldn't say I believe in ghosts, so this is how you know, like this is this is not of this world. Right. So it started off like when I was little, me and my brother, we were little. We grew up like uh we were in the trailer park at this time and we we were it was like the first day of school like we we're getting ready for the first day of school so back then we had our little game boys you remember like we had pokemon ah. we had all types of games on the game boy so it got late at night and we were going to sleep and i remember hearing like footsteps coming down the hall and you couldn't see nothing though you just hear footsteps and you look around in the dark and nothing was there so we go to sleep for like literally like two hours bro i wake up and I see a dark figure hanging over the door. No, bro. Just hanging, bro. Like, it was like upside down. It's like you couldn't see the legs. All you saw was like the torso of the body and the head. And it was just hanging there. And oh, it, no. And I, 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 was, I wasn't asleep. I wasn't asleep. I was not asleep. So I'm sitting in bed. My brother was like laying right, right, right beside me. I'm, I'm like trying to like move to nudge him. To like wake him up, I get the strength to like, yo, get get the freak up, bro, get up. So without without heating yourself out, like you're just yeah, bro, to like, like I'm I'm not like... I'm not trying to like I'm not trying to be loud because if I'm loud, I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> I just don't feel I don't know what's gonna happen. So I'm like nudging him to get up. He finally like turns over and he sees it too. So I'm not tripping at this time. Oh no, bro. So we we both looking at the same thing hanging over the door and we don't know what to say. Like at that time we couldn't scream, we couldn't talk. It was like all all, all I could think was Jesus. At that time I was just I was just thinking about Jesus in my head and I I like mustered up the courage to go to sleep. So that was like when I was little. And all the times when I was little, all we would just hear like footsteps. We would hear like, like I heard somebody saying that they heard howls. Like those are real things, bro. Like they're not dogs. They're, I don't, demons. I don't know if everybody believed in it, but that's what I believe it was. So to, 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 to fasten up story, I was like in high school. This was when I was in high school. And I believe like all of these things that was happening to me when I was little was preparing me for this one moment. So in high school, okay, hold on. Can I ask a question real quick? Yeah, go ahead. Are you guys, are you in your, are you and your brother still in the trailer park at this point? No, 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 no. We move, we move. So whatever this is, you think it's following you around at this point then? <sighs> It's hard okay, to let's, explain, bro. Let's hear the story. Okay. We'll know after like, the story. Okay, okay. 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 All right. So we, me, my friends, everybody, this was in high school. We out partying. So it's New Year's Eve. We're going into New Year's, right? So we're at this house party. We're partying or whatever. And at that time, like, my mom wasn't feeling good. She wasn't doing good. Everybody was worried. So it was at the house party. I was lit. I was, I was lit. I, bro. I'm sorry, but I was lit. All right. Okay. And I got too the, late. Uh, you would say almost. Yeah, I was way too late. <laughs> I got the text and the call from my brother. It was like, he was like, "Bro, have you heard from mom?" I was like, "What you mean? Have I heard from mom?" He was like, "She, she, she, she uh called D and and she wrote a letter saying like uh she's done with everything." So in my head, I'm thinking like, "What the freak is he talking about?" Like, my mom wouldn't say nothing like that. What what the freak is he talking about? So I get on the phone with my dad and he tells me to go home. I'm like, I can't drive home like this, but that's my mom. So I hop in the car, lit, driving home. Something in the car tells me like, while I'm driving home at a red light, it was like, this is your test. And I'm like, after all these years that I've been seeing all of this stuff, hearing stuff, like water cutting on, lights cutting on, all of this stuff going on throughout my whole life. I'm driving home and something says, like, this is your test. So I'm thinking, like, bro, I don't know what the freak. I don't know what the freak. I need to call back up. Um, so I'm calling my I'm calling my brother and he's not answering. I'm calling my dad. He's not answering. So I'm driving to the house by myself, right? I'm pulling up to the house. 
all I could feel was like eyes like watching me. Like literally like eyes all around me, like watching me. I don't know if anybody has ever felt that way, but it just yep. feel like some like somebody watching you. I'm pulling up to the house and I just feel like thousands of people are watching me and I'm scared to go in the house because I don't know what's going on with my mom. So I must up the courage to go in the house and I walk through the, the door and when you go through the garage to to get in the house, my mom's like room was like right by the garage door and the kitchen was right here. So I'm walking and I look in my mom's room and I can see like my mom peeking from underneath the cover. I'm like, oh shit. So I'm not, I'm not I'm not even trying to entertain that. I like I like go straight to my room, right? So I go to my room, I get undressed, I'm trying to like get all like, you know, all the smoke smell and all of the, mm -hmm. you know, from drinking. I'm trying to get, I'm just trying to clean up and everything. I'm calling my brother. I'm like, yo, hurry up, bro. Hurry up and get here. Like what, what's taking y'all so long? And they, they was like, yo, we're on the way. We're on the way. So at the house, I'm feeling like I'm dealing with all of this by myself. And at the whole time, I'm just hearing footsteps walking in the house. Footsteps. Mind you, I felt like a thousand people were watching me while I was driving up. Pitch black dark. We we lived out in like it was just like trees everywhere. It was just pitch black dark. And the house was on the hill. So I walk up and I'm just sitting in the room and I go around there and check on my mom. And she's still undercover. By that time, they got there. They walk in the room. My mom just started screaming. Like yelling. Like like the stuff that you see in the Exorcist movie, that type of stuff, just started wilding. I'm like, "Yo, I can't deal with this. I can't. I can't do this today." Like I'm, I'm thinking like, "What? What the freak do I do?" I'm like trying to call like the pastor. I'm trying to call people uh, to help me, and it was just like they were trying to hold my mom down, and she was just like wilding, just fighting everything. And I go in the room. Finally, I must up the courage to go in the room, and. I don't want to say she, but it was like I was looking at something else looking at me, like in my mom. So I'm looking at it like I'm looking like, yo. And they looked at me and was like, we want you. And I'm like, we. Wait a minute. What, what do you what do you mean? We. And I'm Wait, thinking, yeah, did, your, your, did that those words come out of your mom? Bro, no lie. If my mom was in the room, I would bring her and tell her, bro, this is this is real, this is a real story. Looked at me and it said, We want you. You're the rock star. And I was like, I this is this is why I didn't want to come home, bro. You, you feel me? So like I'm in this whole state, everybody's like trying to hold my mom down, and we're like waiting for help to get there and everything and at that time like she just like passed out <laughs> so i was i was out bro we called the paramedics they came they got her they took her to the hospital i'm mind you i'm still like shook because like when i looked at my mom and where me to look at my mom and to feel like I'm looking at something else saying like we want you and calling me a rock star I felt like that was personal so bro. like leading all up to this point bro I just I just I was freaked out so mom went to the hospital and she was laying in the bed and I remember like asking her I was like mom what you want me to do like because she was weak and she don't she didn't even remember what happened like she don't even remember like calling my dad and nothing like that so I remember asking, like, what you want me to do? And she was like, I want you to go back to the house. What, like the first house? No, to the house that everything happened in. No, bro. No. She was like, I want you to go back to the house. And I'm looking at her like, you don't remember what happened. You want me to go back to the house by myself. And stay there all night. Did you go back? I went back. Bro, what? 
I went back. I went By back. Solo? Solo Dello. Bro, okay. Did anything happen that night? I went back. I was scared. I sat in the car for like 30 minutes in the garage. I walked in the door. We had a little a little Pomeranian. She had a little Pomeranian dog, whatever. And he was just running around looking outside, looking at everything. And I was just, bro. I got the Pomeranian. I cut on every single light in that house. Yeah, bro. of course. Went to my room and locked the door. I cannot go to sleep. Mind you, while I'm up till the morning, all I'm hearing is footsteps, bro. And I'm oh wondering, my. I'm wondering who's watching me. And all the all the, you you remember what I said. I'm playing back all of these things that we want you, rock star. Like I'm playing back all of this stuff. Bro, I was I was feeling like I was being tormented, bro, at that point. It was bananas. So so clearly your mom was like possessed. Well, not, I wouldn't say possessed, but in the phrase she used, oppressed. Like, oh my God. So, okay, this house, that's like, that's a hot minute ago, right? Like you're a long way from, from. Oh like yeah. Your, yeah. Yeah. So since leaving that crib, you still have any funny shit going on now? Bro, I thank that, God is, that I is, don't is, see is, nothing right now, bro. Is that that's so that's the last time you heard those footsteps? Yeah. Yeah. How long was it that your mom was oppressed by this? Like well, was was this the final appearance of this? That was that I don't was want to the, put a name to it because I think names have a lot of power. So I'm just gonna leave an yeah, open ended question. Yeah. Like because a lot of things were happening during that time and um even it, there was there was so much content that, that i didn't even add like it was it was her the fact that she was saying that they wanted me or we want you or and calling me a rock star and i was i was i was like for fighting for my mom's like I, at this yeah. point i'm fighting for my mom so i'm like i'm i'm like about to kill, I'll knock you out for my mom yeah, yeah. like you, you feel me like but at that time, I was like in a fighting mode to get this thing out of my mom. And like I said, when it looked at me and said, do you not know who we are? We'll mess this thing up or we'll flip this house upside down. And I'm just thinking like I'm outnumbered, bro. At that point, I go outside and I'm calling my pastor and they not answering. It's like I'm helpless, bro. Mm. So it was a lot. It was a lot going on. And <laughs> Wow, that's horrifying. Yeah, man. It's crazy. You're shook, babe. Yeah, that was the worst one of the day for that me, That was the bro. worst one like... of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Just because it's so scary thinking that something could, like that could happen in your family. Like, I, you know, you hear about it and you don't, nor, that's not something you hear about, like, it happening to people that you know, you know? Yeah. Yeah, dude. That's crazy. And like... How'd your brother feel about all that stuff? Because you were with your bro at the time, right? Yeah. No, I had my brother, my brother, he experienced some 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 stuff too. Like, you know, angels. I don't know if people believe in angels, but yeah, angels are real too. If you don't believe in if you believe in evil, then you believe in good. So angels are real. So like my brother had my whole family, they we've been seeing like angels and all types of stuff. So it's the real deal, bro. Yeah, it's I mean, some people are just tuned into it, bro. That's mm -hmm. wild.